We now welcome UFC featherweight Daniel Pineda. Daniel, thank you for the time today, sir. How's it going, brother? It's going great, thank you. Uh, we will take the first question from Nolan King with MMA Junkie. Cool. Appreciate the time, man. Uh, welcome back. It's been a little while since we saw you in the UFC. It's been six years, actually, since your last UFC fight. So talk to me about how it feels to be back and uh, going through fight week again. Uh, it feels good. You know, it's not a big camp, but hey, it feels good to be back, man. Happy to be here. Was there any ever? Was there ever any doubt as you were going through other organizations and working your way back here that you would be here again? No, I knew I was going to come back and give it another run. I've been telling my coaches and everybody, no, I'm going to give it one more run. And this is the run I'm giving. I'm doing it right now. The last time we saw you compete in the cage, you were in a tournament. And, uh, you know, it was a, a one-night tournament. And th those results were overturned. So can you just – we never really heard from your perspective. Can you kind of give your side of that and maybe how frustrating that was to deal with from your perspective? Uh, it, it sucked. You know, you work so hard, and then for that to happen, I mean, it just sucked, you know? Yeah, for sure. And um, also, you know, you, you talk about how you're back and you're going to give it one more run. So what do you what do you plan to accomplish now that you're here? Uh, what is the next – what does the second run for Daniel Panetta in the UFC look like? Get to the top and make as much money as I can. That's exactly what my second run is. Make as much money as I can and so I can support my baby and – my girl, I home. For sure, man. Well, I appreciate the time and good luck, Daniel. Thank you, brother. We will take our next questions from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, Daniel, I'm not sure if you saw this, but Burns called you more dangerous than Alexander Volkanovsky, more dangerous than the champ. What's your reaction when you hear an opponent say something like that? Uh, you know, he has respect. You know, same respect I got for him. You know, he's good. He's a world-class jiu-jitsu guy, and, you know, we have respect for each other. I mean, we know it's going to be a fight. We know it's going to be a war, and that's why we're in the main card now. You know, everybody's expecting a war, and there is going to be a war. You haven't had a lot of time to prepare this, uh, or sorry, to prepare for this fight. What was your approach? What was camp like going into this? Don't get hurt. Don't overwork myself because it's only a week, you know, or two weeks, one week at home and one week here. So, man, just try to cut my weight and try to get a lot running in, <laughs> try to get in shape. And he's obviously known for his ground game. You've got a boatload of submissions as well, something he pointed out, I think 17 or 18 uh, in your pro career. Is this a case where you want to test yourself against them, or is the plan to kind of force him into a stand-up battle? Y'all yeah, know how I fight, man. I I'm going to go in there. I'm going to try to finish him, or he's going to finish me. It was one of them, too. I don't like decisions. I've never gone to a decision. All of them are finishes. So one of us is going to get finished. If it's him or if it's me, but, it, I mean, it's going to be a good fight. All right. Well, looking forward to it. Best of luck this Saturday. Thank you, brother. We will take our next questions from Damon Martin with MMA Fighting. Hey, Daniel. Uh, welcome back to the UFC. Uh, can you kind of give me an idea of what this last, you know, 10 months has been like for you? I mean, to make a, you know, kind of a short notice debut, go into PFL, win two fights, you're in the finals, you're about to fight for a million dollars. We know what happened with the Nevada commission. Then you get a suspension, your time off. Then you're back in the UFC again. Here you are fighting, you know, in the middle of a pandemic on a massive card like UFC 252. Like, What's the emotion been like for you for these past like eight, you know, eight to ten months? Man, honestly, I haven't even been thinking about none of that. You know, I, I just had my baby girl. You know, she's two months. My wife's been pregnant for nine months. So, I mean, I've just been taking care of my baby, trying to work out. And I know I was going to get back in here. I knew I was going to get back in here. And I'm in here now. And now it's just time to put myself, you know, to myself and to all the fans out there and everybody else. And whoever's doubting me out there, you know, all they do is doubt. I'll just wait. Come Saturday night. And not to obviously take a, a dig at PFL by any stretch of the imagination, but I think everyone knows they ended up not taking, you know, not fighting at all this year. And there's been some frustration from some of the fighters, you know, with, with the UFC being back, Bellator coming back, things like that. In the end run, were you happy that, you know, you were able to get out of PFL and come to UFC? Now you're fighting. Cause I know you're an active guy. You like to, I mean, we know you as a guy who fights quite often. Yeah, I, I don't say no to fights. You know, he called me in three days. I'm going to fight, you know. I mean, do a catch weight and I'll fight, you know. But, uh, man, 
just know I got a good manager, you know, uh, and I got out of the contract and I'm here now. So that's what counts. And I just, you know, I got an awesome manager, you know, Jason House. He's the man. And, the, you know, you were, when you were in the UFC before, you've always been known as a guy who, who puts on exciting fights and, and always goes out there to put on the show, win, lose, or draw. And we've seen it, you know, especially during this pandemic, the UFC really seems to appreciate, you know, the guys and the girls who have gone out there and done that. Do you feel like, in a way, this is the perfect time for you to come back to the UFC with your style and your attitude in a time where we are in kind of a weird time for fighting? Yeah, I think it's the perfect time. Uh, uh, like, and it's a perfect time for me to get some bonuses too. You know, now that I'm in the main car and I can actually see and get my bonuses. I mean, it's, it's a perfect time. Everything's falling into place at a perfect time. And last question for me: You, as you said, you're not a guy who turns down fights or turn down turns down opportunities. But getting a guy like Herbert Burns in your first fight back, I mean, this is a big fight. Herbert's been on a great run. You know, one of the top prospects in the division, of course, his brother is, you know, number number one ranked welterweight in the world. I mean, could you have asked for a better scenario? Now main card, as you mentioned, it seems like everything's kind of falling into place. Exactly. No, no, no. I love this fight. I, I love all the hype he got behind him. I love all the hype the name they have, you know, their jiu-jitsu. And, I mean, I can test myself out, see where where, I, where I'm at with that jiu-jitsu, you know, see if he can submit me. Maybe I submit him. You know, I'm going there and submit him. I mean, for sure, we're going to get finished, one of us. There's no decision. So, no, no, it's it's good, and I'm, I'm happy I got this fight. I'm happy. The last time they asked me to fight him, I said, yes, it didn't happen. He ended up fighting somebody else, you know, and that was like in a four-day notice. And then I knew he was going to come back, and here we are. You know, I'm excited to fight Herbert. He's, he's, he's good. You know, I've watched him, and, I mean, he's good. Awesome. Thanks, Daniel. Yep. And we will take our next questions from Pablo Santa Maria with Notima Ecuador. Hey, hey Daniel, how are you? How's it going, brother? Uh, what will be your strategy for the fight? Are you going to keep the fight on your feet, or do you have no problem going to the ground and show that you're a complete fighter? I'm going to do whatever opportunity happens. You know, I'm going to go in there. You know, Every fight starts standing, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to stand up. And if he lets me take him down, I'm going to take him down and ground and pound him. You know, I'm not... I'm not scared of his ground. I'm not scared of his stand up. So wherever it goes, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be there. Okay. Uh, you are a more experienced fighter than him. So do you think that your experience will play an important role in achieving the victory? Yes. Yes. Uh, very, you know, I've have what, like two, three, yeah, I have what, 26, 27 fights. Oh, whatever. 30 something fights, you know. So yeah, I have a lot more experience. I, got, I think I got more fights than. All the guys are fighting the same night on that card. <laughs> so, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's cool. So good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel. Those are all the questions we had for you, sir. Thank you. Bye.